Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and before we hop in, make sure to go ahead and check out Sleeve Chief's website that's opening at 2 p.m. EST. You can use my code DBG for 15% off, and yeah, they're going to have a bunch of stuff there, whole bunch of new drops, like four new drops at once, so make sure to go ahead and check that out. Also, what we are going over today, this is the round two of the Remote Duel Extravaganza written feature match. And yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into this. So we have Marinsus versus Kashtira. And Marinsus won the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. Their name is Nicholas Pretzel. And they're playing against Rodolfo, Rose T, Alcantara. And then they're going to go ahead and activate Desires. Go Banish 10. And then draw 2 here. So draw into Spring Girl and the Rock. And then they're going to go normal summon out the Basilima. And then they said on summon, I'm going to go ahead and drop shifter. Now go in the Sea Angel and then Sea Angel to go search dive. You know, just playing for follow up because there's not much you can really do under shifter. Uh, then they're going to go talents. Look at the hand. Hits Book of Eclipse. Also interesting how they went for Sea Angel then talents. But I guess like maybe... Hmm, maybe they want to get hit with something on that. Like, maybe they want to get hit with Imperm, but I don't know. You would have already seen the hand. It's not like that's going to bait Ash. That would have baited Ash. Actually, maybe. Actually, this may not have baited Ash because they had Shifter. Okay, that's actually smart thinking because they may have Ash that. And that's, like, good, I guess. Yeah. And you can, like, Talents rip something else. Um, okay, so they're going to rip, set Book of Moon. And then pass turn, they draw into a Fenrir. So they're going to go main phase, activate Pot of Prosperity, go banish six, look at the top six. And then all they said on the feature match was that Pressure Planet was hit. Uh, so we don't know the rest of the cards, but it was probably just some like non-engine. Uh, so go ahead, put those back to the bottom. And then next, activate Pressure Planet to go grab Cash to your Unicorn. Summon Unicorn on Summon, Book of Moon. You know, shifter past their turn, book past their turn, standard, and then pass. Mernsus draws into Imperm, and then go main phase, normal summon out Spring Girl, and then they're going to use those to go into the Coral, and then Spring Girl effect to mill here. Um, that mills the Pascalus, burn the opponent for 200, and that's an insane mill, because now they can go Coral, summon back out, and then use that effect, summon out the other Spring Girl from the hand, overlaying the Bahamid Shark, Bahamid Shark to summon Toad, it's like now you feel safe while you're playing, uh, now use Bahamid Shark plus the Coral to go in the Marbled Rock, and then they're going to go Coral Effect to grab the Spring Girl, I definitely did not mean to banish this, um, then they're going to go Marbled Rock Effect, add back Spring Girl, summon by banishing, go in the Blue Slug, yeah I don't know, I accidentally banished, I don't know why, then go in the Blue Slug, uh, then they're going to go Blue Slug Effect, add back Spring Girl, Link off into the Great Bubble Reef, Battle Phase, Beat Over Unicorn, Toad Attack directly, dropping them down to 56, Set Imperm, and then Pass Turn, uh, they draw a blank there, and then they're going to go Great Bubble Reef to Banish, and then draw, and then just draws into Imperm, activate Pot of Prosperity, and then Prosperity is going to go ahead, Banish 3, that hits a Cash Tier Unicorn there, and then put the other cards back. Okay, they're going to go Special Summon Fenrir up next. Fenrir effect, Chain Toad to set that to the field. And then Toad to add back. And then they're going to go Talents to look at hand. Rip the nib out of the hand. Uh, then they're going to go Summon Unicorn. But, you know, our set card does happen to be Imperm. So we're able to shut that down. And the Cash Tier player goes ahead and admits defeat there. So on to the next game now. Um, we're going to see Cash Tira go first. Also, I'm going to try all three. I'm going to try, like, the, the game different. Like, game one, I went with, uh, like, both hands. In this game, I'm going to go with you only being able to see one hand. So let me know which one you end up liking better out of those two. Um, but, okay, so this is our hand. And then they're going to start with Pot of Prosperity. Or maybe if you want me to have no hands and hide both hands. Just comment down below. Let me know what you think. They're going to go Prosperity for six. Um, that's going to hit the Cash Tier Unicorn and then put the rest of the cards back to the bottom of the deck. Okay. 
Then after that, special summon out Unicorn, Unicorn effect, grab Birth from the deck, and then activate the Osis to summon Fenrir, Fenrir effect, grab out Kashira Rise Heart, and then summon out Rise Heart, Rise Heart effect to go banish Birth, make him banish three face down, and then overlay, go into a Rise Heart, set two back row, pass turn, and then they're gonna go ahead and draw into Ash Blossom. Go main phase, battle phase, evenly. And then they're going to get a Rise Heart effect to attach a Goliath. And then main phase 2, activate Pot of Desires. So it's going to go banish 10. And then draw 2. That draws into a blank and a blue tang. And then they get to attach 1. We're going to go set Desires. End phase, they're going to go a Rise to banish that. And then a Rise effect to attach. And then pass. Draw for turn. Uh, they're going to go Pressured Planet, we chain Ash Blossom, they attach Talents to rip a card from our hand, and then they get a Rise Effect to attach, activate Birth, Birth Summon Fenrir, Fenrir Effect, go search Unicorn, and then because we have Birth, Normal Unicorn, Unicorn, grab Theosis, and then activate Theosis, go summon out Scareclaw, cash Tira, and then here we just go a Rise Effect to attach, and then switch to attack, and then Battle Phase, Go ahead and attack for game. Okay, so moving on into game number three now. Um, you know what? Honestly, go with hide both hands. I know that you just saw them, but whatever. Normal summon. And then link off. Go into Sea Angel. Uh, so, you know, not starting with the greatest Marincess again. This isn't like... This isn't, isn't that great. It's not a one-card Marincess card. Then they're going to go Sea Angel. Sea Angel. Go search out Dive. Then activate dive, summon back, but any one Marincess can really just do this. Then they're going to go on the coral, coral effect, summon back out, and then use those, go into the coral triangle, and then activate that effect to add back. If we wanted to, we could have gone ahead and we could have also added back dive because we could have gone for uh, the blue slug, blue slug, add back. And then when this gets go, and then when this goes to grave, effect add back dive. So we could have gotten one extra one, but we do have to use a, uh, another extra resource for that. Now we're gonna go triangle, discard, go search wave, and then set two cards, pass turn. So we're gonna go standby phase, anti spell. They're gonna go battle phase evenly. We're just gonna leave ourselves with coral triangle. Obviously, I mean Marincess waves in hand. Why would you set that card right? So obviously it's in hand. Um, then special unicorn effect chain marinsis wave to imperm that and then protect our field they're gonna go birth normal fenrir i mean their hands looking kind of nice right fenrir effect chain ash uh so there i mean you could go fenrir target coral but it's unaffected because wave so it doesn't matter and unicorn got negated go in the shang set one and then pass draw standby phase shang to go ahead and summon out fenrir and defense Main phase, normal summon out blue tang, uh, which is obviously the top deck. Otherwise, we would have tried to play with that last turn. Go into the Great Bubble Reef, and then blue tang effect. Um, that's going to mill or, like, you know, hit a spring girl there. So we're going to grab that to hand, put the other cards back into the deck. On res, Fenrir, banish, and then Shang to lock a zone. But, you know, that's fine, because now our Coral Triangle's live to so go ahead and special summon back out. And yeah, not quite sure why they banished the Link 4. Maybe they thought it was a really good decision, but you know, obviously now it's like it's probably not looking like the greatest decision. Uh, Coral Effect target the blue thing, and then they're gonna chain Imperm on that, activate Spring Girl to banish and special summon, and then Link in the blue slug, blue slug and spring. So we're gonna go ahead and mill. And then add back Spring Girl. Uh, we do hit a Seahorse there, and we get to burn him for 200. Uh, and then next, we're going to go into Splash Mage. Splash Mage effect, summon back out. And then use that to go into Sea Angel. Sea Angel to grab the Battle Ocean. Link those into Marbled Rock. Marbled Rock effect to add back Marincess Wave now. Before we activate a Spell card, because our opponent's going to get Birth effect to banish. And then... That's going to go ahead, banish Seahorse, blue thing, and then just a random blue slug. And then they're going to go Shang effect, lock zone. Link up into the Aqua, new chain link, ocean one, coral two, grab back, dive, and then equip three. 
activate dive to summon blue thing from the deck affect the go dump because we didn't do that earlier we decided to hold it because we knew that we could bait our opponent into banishing our link four um then we're gonna dump the pascalus and then activate aqua to bounce back bounce back and then battle phase beat over we're getting the attack boost from this so we're currently sitting at 43 and then uh pass turn they draw and then they're going to go main phase, set a back row, pass. You know, Birth's not going to do anything unless they have something else because this will just negate it and summon us a body. So, like, that's kind of scary. Uh, they draw, then go normal blue thing, effect, dumb spring girl, go in the blue slug, effects, mill seahorse, add that back to hand, and then blue slug will get to add back also. And then that's going to grab back the spring girl. So now, you know, we just got to do a little cleanup operation. Uh, Pascalus, grab dive, activate dive to summon out the Mandarin from the deck. Always nice to have this card in rotation. Free body. Go in the Coral. Coral, summon out the blue thing. And then battle phase, attack with 17, attack with 22, and then attack with the 43. And that's going to be game. So GG's, GG's. And we're going to see that Nicholas Pretzel wins round 2 with his Marincess deck to advance to 2-0 record. And yep, that is going to be it for the video. Uh, if you enjoyed that, please leave a like. That was the round two feature match for the extravaganza. I plan on going over more of these. I didn't go over round one because I don't want to go over the rounds where it's like a really quick 2-0 blowout in like two seconds. Because to be honest, you could just go read those. Like those those aren't hard to read. Like round one was just John Wilkin pop 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 slapping up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be going over more rounds. I'm going to be going over a lot of these. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.